We're here at the Centre for Human Aerospace and Physiological Sciences at King's in London and we're testing the guys uh, which will be doing both before, during and after the journey. And these guys are going to go off and lock themselves in a uh, little box. They're going to be losing the light cycle because it's going to be dark most of the time. It's going to be a threatening environment outside. There's going to be low oxygen levels. And if you put all that together, it makes for an interesting uh, analogy to a, to a space journey. And so we have uh, uh, put together this program of work called the uh, White Mars Project because uh, what they're doing will feel or have aspects that are a bit akin to a long journey to Mars. So today they are getting measures of their body composition, uh, how much fat, how much muscle they've got. They're getting blood tests which will be baselines uh, to which we'll compare things. They're doing exercise tests to see how fit they are, how strong their muscles are, so it's both cardio respiratory fitness and their uh, muscle strength. Um, and uh, this afternoon they're going to have tests on eyes and on cognitive function and things because uh, it's not just the effects of the cold and the uh, isolated environment but actually the lack of stimuli uh, to the brain and things is expected to have or at least lead to changes in the way their brain works. So it's a very, very full programme and we're expecting to get a lot of interesting information out of it. One of the things we're interested in is their uh, body weight and their body composition in terms of how much muscle and how much fat they've got. And we can measure this in a variety of different ways. Uh, before and after at King's, we've got a DEXA scanner um, and that will pass a low dose of x-rays through you and we get a very accurate measure of exactly what body composition is in terms of fat muscle and actually bone density as well so we're interested in their bone health uh, and whether or not it's maintained in the darkness when you don't have vitamin D. In terms of the other techniques that they'll be able to do en route uh, we've got one instrument that's called a bioimpedance machine and it passes a very small current through the body and how easily it passes reflects how much muscle and how much fat you've got because electricity goes uh, through muscle much more easily than through fat. And then we're measuring skin fold thicknesses and uh, that's another technique which we can do on the journey and it's just the uh, how much fat you've got is very much reflected in if you take a roll of skin uh, how thick it is in terms of the skin the subcutaneous tissue and the fat underneath that. So we'll be able to record this through the journey and obviously it's important that they both maintain their fat levels to keep warm and their muscle uh, bulk uh, to be strong and fit.